check this out. Just arrived by a UPS a Jaws of Ice Auger Carrier. Doesn't get any better than that. I'll take this thing out of the box and get it hooked up on my snowmobile. The back of my sled's got two bars. The lower one I'm going to use for pulling my uh, my frable shack and my otter sled. And then the Jaws of Ice is going to go on the upper bar. So this thing's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to install it. After looking at the instructions here, it looks like this is going to be pretty simple to install. It's got a couple of U-bolt clamps that are going to go up underneath the bar and over the auger carrier. There's nuts that are going to go down into those U-bolts. And uh, the square tube bar just inserts into the two auger clamps on each end. Those get bolted together and it looks pretty simple. This is your main square tube that auger carrier is going to sit on on each end. Each end has a locking mechanism that's going to close on that auger and keep it from coming out. When you want to unlock that and pull that, the lever pops back out of the way for you. We saw the two auger clamps to the square bar. Those are just going to slip over the end like so. And you can slide this back and forth to get the right measurements to fit your auger. And you've got four of these small bolts. Those are going to go inside the holes that create a clamping area for your auger clamps. These are, what this does is it's going to go in and it's going to put a pressure point against the bar so it can't slide back and forth. Just installed the U-bolts underneath the square bar. Uh, what you're going to need for tools is a ratchet or a wrench. This is the, the bolts, the nuts that go onto these U-bolts are going to be 9 16th. You need that. And then for the small square heads, bolts that actually lock your locking mechanisms down to the bar, those are going to be the 3 8 So those are the two tools that you're going to need to mount this to your machine. Um, one of the things that you have to make sure is that when you're putting the brackets on, if you just have a circle bar and you don't have other members coming across, you don't want to have them on the outside end because if you put them here and you clamp it down real tight, it still has the opportunity for this rack to roll. So by moving it in and putting it on the bars coming straight out at an angle, it can't move at all. It's not going to be able to flip over on you. All we're going to do is we're going to crank these down and finish the installation. I'm going to see how this jiffy lines up. You want to make sure that before you tighten these down that you get the right area for these clamps before you tighten them down so you know when you get out on the ice that your auger is going to fit. Right now it looks like it's doing pretty good. On the jiffies you've got a plastic sleeve and that, that is going to be the difference on moving this back and forth to make sure it fits. You hear it clicking? That's a locking mechanism that's going to keep this from being able to move. She's completely locked down. Can't go anywhere. We're ready for the ice. That is awesome. Now when you want to take your auger back off, all you have to do is pull this ball out, a little rope attached to it. That's going to drop your arms down. And you're ready to take it off. Well now I know that I've got the auger set perfectly on the bracket, I'm going to tighten down these clamp arms on the back, the two bolts that I talked about earlier. One of the nice things about the Jaws of Ice auger carriers, there's no straps, ropes, or anything like that that's going to be able to break and come off on you. Nice positive locking system.